Magandang araw sa video presentation na ito. Mag-solve tayo ng ilang problems sa logarithmic expressions under general mathematics. Nauna na sa video ng ito, nakapag-discuss tayo about logarithmic functions, equations, and inequalities. Kasunod, nag-discuss tayo about solving logarithmic equations and inequalities. Kung hindi pa napanood ang mga video ng ito, ang link ay nasa description. Ito yung ating problem. Evaluate each logarithmic expressions. Number 1, logarithm of 35 base 7 plus logarithm of 35 base 7 minus logarithm of 25 base 7. Number 2, 25 raised to the logarithm of 4 to the base 5. Number 3, logarithm of square root of n times square root of n times square root of n times square root of n to the base is square root of n, where n is greater than 0. Okay, so number 4. Logarithm of tangent 1 degree plus logarithm of tangent 2 degrees plus logarithm of tangent 3 degrees plus, and the pattern continues, logarithm of tangent 89 degrees. Ito ang husay sip na yan. Huwag kalimutang ilike ang video at mag-subscribe. Sagutan natin ang number 1. Logarithm of 35 to the base 7 plus logarithm of 35 to the base 7 minus logarithm of 25 to the base 7. Mapapansin natin, meron tayong tatlong logarithmic expressions na may pare-parehong base, which is 7. Then we can use the rules of logarithm. Sa unang dalawang terms, pwede natin gamitin ang product rule of logarithm, which states that Logarithm of m times n to the base b is equal to logarithm of m to the base b plus logarithm of n to the base b. Dito, ang m at n ay greater than any real number greater than 0. Irewrite natin ang unang dalawang terms gamit ang rule of logarithm na ito. Meron tayong logarithm of 35 times 35, magiging 35 squared to the base 7 minus logarithm of 25 to the base 7. Ang naiwan na lamang ay dalawang terms, difference of two logarithmic expression. Mari natin gamitin ang quotient rule of logarithm. The logarithm of m over n to the base b is equal to logarithm of m to the base b minus logarithm of n to the base b. Sa ating naiwang expression, ang m ay 35 squared at ang n ay 25 at ang b ay 7. I-rewrite natin. Magiging logarithm of 35 squared over 25 to the base 7. I-simplify natin ang fraction. Ang 35 squared ay pwedeng i-rewrite as 5 squared times 7 squared over ang 25 5 squared to the base 7. Magsisimplify ang 5 squared over 5 squared as equal to 1. Ibig sabihin, ang naiwan na lamang na expression ay logarithm of 7 is squared to the base 7. Sa so, naiwang expression na ito, maaari natin gamitin ang inverse property of logarithm, which states that the logarithm of b raised to x to the base b is equal to x. Sa ating expression, ang b ay 7 at ang x ay 2. So, ang final answer natin ay 2. Number 2 tayo, 25 raised to the logarithm of 4 to the base 5. Simulan natin by rewriting 25 as 5 squared. So, meron tayong 5 squared and this expression 25 is raised to the exponent logarithm of 4 to the base 5. Galing sa rules of exponent, pwede nating i-multiply ang 2 at ang logarithm of 4 to the base 5. 
So, pwede natin itong i-rewrite as 5 raised to 2 times the logarithm of 4 to the base 5. Focus tayo dito sa exponent. 2 times the logarithm of 4 to the base 5. May i-rewrite natin ito gamit ang power rule of logarithm. Sabi dito, logarithm of m raised to n to the base b is equal to n times the logarithm of m to the base b. Pansinin natin na ang n ay exponent ng m. Equal ito kapag i-multiply ang logarithm of m to the base b sa exponent na n. Ito ang power rule of exponent. Ang ating resulting expression ay merong exponent na nasa form ng right-hand side ng power rule. Pansinin natin, ang n ay 2, ang m ay 4, at ang b ay 5. Maaari natin itong i rewrite sa form ng nasa left-hand side. Gawin natin yan, magiging logarithm of 4 squared to the base 5. So, ang magiging exponent natin ay Logarithm of 4 squared to the base 5. This time, mapapansin natin ang base ng logarithmic expression sa exponent ay 5. At ang ating buong expression ay isang exponential expression na ang base din ay 5. Mari natin gamitin dito ang pangalawang inverse property of logarithm. Sabi dito, b raised to the logarithm of x to the base b. Pansinin natin, ang base ng logarithmic expression sa exponent ay equal sa base ng buong exponential expression. And this is equal to x, ang argument ng logarithmic expression sa exponent. Pero dito, ang x ay any real number greater than 0. So, mapapansin natin, kung ikukumpara natin sa ating resulting expression, ang b ay 5 at ang x ay 4 squared. And it is greater than 0. So, maaari natin i-apply ang inverse property of logarithms dito. Kung i-apply natin ito, magiging 4 squared na lamang ang ating expression at ang 4 squared ay equal sa 16. Ito tayo sa number 3. The logarithm of square root of n times square root of n times square root of n times square root of n to the base square root of n. Bago natin ito sagutan, mag-recall tayo ng isa sa mga rule of exponent. mth root of x raised to n is equal to x raised to n over m. So, kung meron tayong uh, mth root ng radicand x raised to n, pwede itong i-rewrite as exponential expression with fraction exponent. Ang exponent ng x in the radicand magiging numerator ng exponential expression with fractional exponent at ang index sa kanyang radical form ay magiging denominator ng fractional exponent sa exponential form. Gawin natin ito doon sa square root of n na nasa loob ng iba pang square root. So, pag in rewrite natin to magiging <clears throat> ang n square root of n sa radikan dito ay magiging n times n raised to 1 half following exponential rule on fractional exponent n times n raised to 1 half magiging n raised to 3 halves. Sum of the exponents, 1 plus 1 half. Ulitin natin, ang, mag, ang radicand na n raised to 3 halves magiging n raised to 3 halves raised to 1 half. By rule of exponent, i-multiply natin. 3 halves times 1 half magiging n raised to 3 fourths. And then, product uli ng n times n raised to 3 fourths 
magiging n raised to 1 plus 3 fourths. So, meron tayong n raised to 7 fourths. Gamitin uli natin ang rule on fractional exponent. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng n raised to 7 fourths raised to 1 half. 7 fourths times 1 half is 7 eighths. Multiply uli natin, n times n raised to 7 eighths. Magkakaroon tayo ng exponent, 1 plus 7 eighths. And that is 15 over 8. Ulitin natin ang rule on fractional exponent, magiging n raised to 15 over 8 raised to 1 half. By rule of exponent, pwede natin itong i-rewrite as n raised to 1 half raised to 15 over 8. And then, sa base na square root of n, gamitin na natin ang rule on fractional exponent. So, magkakaroon tayo ng logarithm of n raised to 1 half raised to 15 over 8 to the base n raised to 1 half. Mapapansin natin ang base ng argument equal sa base ng logarithmic expression. Mula ulit sa inverse property of logarithms, logarithm of b raised to x to the base b equals x. Pag sinimplify natin ito, ang final answer na lamang natin ay 15 over 8. Dito ay sa number 4. Logarithm of tangent 1 degree plus logarithm of tangent 2 degrees plus logarithm of tangent 3 degrees plus and the pattern continues. Logarithm of tangent 89 degrees. Gamit ang commutative property of addition, maaari natin itong i rewrite sa form na logarithm of tangent 1 degree plus logarithm of tangent 89 degrees plus logarithm of tangent 2 degrees plus logarithm of tangent 88 degrees plus, and the pattern continues, logarithm of tangent 45 degrees. Ginawa natin ito upang may pakita natin ang Complementary angles 1 degree, 89 degrees, 2 degrees, 88 degrees, and so on. Gamit ang product rule of logarithmic expressions, ang bawat pair pwede nating i-rewrite as logarithm of the product tangent 1 degree times tangent 89 degrees plus logarithm of the product tangent 2 degrees times tangent 88 degrees and so on. Ang last term ay walang kapares, logarithm of tangent 45 degrees. Ang tangent at cotangent functions ay co-functions. Ibig sabihin, ang tangent 89 degrees ay maaring i-rewrite as cotangent 90 minus 1 at ang tangent 88 degrees ay pwedeng i-rewrite as cotangent 90 minus 88 at magpapatuloy ang pattern hanggang sa ating last term. 90 minus 89 is 1 degree. 90 minus 88 is 2 degrees. Magpapatuloy ang pattern hanggang ang last term natin ay walang kapares. Ang tangent at cotangent ay reciprocal functions. So, tangent 1 degree times ta cotangent 1 degree is equal to 1. Tangent 2 degrees times cotangent 2 degrees is equal to 1. Ganun din yung iba pang terms. Meron tayong 45 pairs ng expression logarithm of 1. From the property of logarithms, alam natin that logarithm of 1 to any base is equal to 0. So, we have 45 addends na 0. Ang final answer natin ay 0. Salamat sa panonood. Huwag kalimutang ilike ang video. Ito ang Husay Siplayan.